morning, Green Mountain. These are your daily announcements for Wednesday, September 7th, 2016. I'm Heidi. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liter liberty and justice for all. In clubs and activities, reminder to all seniors, you have a class meeting in the auditorium after announcements. Attention all students, next week we will have a different schedule as we are running our proposed new bell schedule for the next two weeks. That means there will be an 8 a.m. start time all days as well as the class periods having different times. Make sure you know when to be where by grabbing the photos off the, of the schedule off the website or a paper copy from the main office. Can your team stay afloat? Join the Green Mountain STEM Club this afternoon for a mini boat building challenge. Meet at 3 p.m. in H160. Are you interested in going into a medical field? Go to St. Anthony's Hospital Monday night, September 19th for an open house with Venture Crew 911. This is an emergency medical responder class where you get a ton of hands-on training. Food will be provided. See Ms. Rupel if you have any questions. If you missed the Key Club meeting last week, it is not too late to join. We will meet Thursday, September 8th during lunch in room H122. We will be discussing homecoming week and key leader opportunities. If you plan on being a part of DECA this year, there will be a mandatory meeting on Thursday at 7.30 a.m. in Mr. Davis's room, D110. Attention all sophomores who have a GPA of 3.8 or higher. This will be the first year that National Honor Society will allow sophomores the opportunity to join our organization. If you are interested in joining, please come to the informational meeting on Monday, September 12th during lunch in room I-226 or see Mr. Schwartz for more details. Attention all current National Honor Society members, there will be a meeting this Thursday during lunch in the library classroom. We will be choosing our leadership team, so please be there promptly. GMHS's Gay Straight Alliance will be having meetings on Thursday in Mr. Shaver's room, H119. Come on down starting at 3 o'clock for an introduction to GSA, some activities, and free snacks. All students in the spectrum or allies alike are more than welcome, and we hope to see you there. Interested in joining National Art Honor Society slash Art Club? Come to a short informational meeting in room E117 on September 3rd from 2.50 to 3.15 p.m. See Mrs. Frisbee if you have any questions. Anime Club will begin with our first meeting on Wednesday, September 14th from 2.15 to 3.30. This is a change from our initial, initial meeting on September 7th. Please meet in Ms. Gullhopper's room. C110, see you soon, otakus. Hey all staff, want to hang out with your peers and eat some lunch? Today, right after advisement, teachers and staff will gather in Miss Amberg's room for some lunch and a chance to break out of your comfort zone, if only for one day. See you there. Seniors, don't forget Senior Sunrise on Friday at Red Rocks. The sunrise is at 636, so plan accordingly. If you have any questions, please see Brody Sisk, Addison Peary, or Jordan Garcia. <clears throat> and now here's Cassandra and Shane with a homecoming update. Thanks, Jack. We have a few events going on um, next week for homecoming, so we have a few announcements for you as well. Attention powder puffers. Powder puff practice will take place from 7 to 7.45 a.m. both Monday, September 12th and Wednesday, September 14th near the football fields. Be there or be square. Junior and senior guys, are you interested in coaching Powder Puff and can make both practices at seven, from 7 to 7.45 a.m. Monday, September 12th and Tuesday, September 13th? Talk to Mr. Ray by the end of the day Friday, September 9th, to be part of this fun tradition. All right, Spirit Days are next week, so Monday is going to be USA Day. Tuesday will be Class Colors Day. Wednesday is going to be Hard Rock Cafe Day, so dress like a rock star on that day. Thursday is going to be Snow Bum Day, and then Friday is going to be our school colors day, which is black and gold. Yeah. All right, if you are participating in the parade, Zena would like to remind you of a few things to know about the parade. First of all, no throwing anything. Candy may be handed out, but cannot be thrown from the float. All right, a parade float may not be more than 14 feet high. A parade vehicle and the float trailer must be licensed and it's street safe. All vehicles and float trailers must be valid. So they have to have their valid registration and insurance available at all times. A parade float cannot have any um, obscenities, um, profanities, or sexual implication. 
If you break or lose equipment during the parade or rally, Green Mountain will not be liable for any of that. So um, make sure to get that taken care of before the parade. All right, there is to be no jumping off the floats during the parade. So if you are either a walker or a rider, that is simply what you are for the entire event. Follow police instructions for road um, closures and for traffic laws. All traffic laws apply to students and the staff participating in the parade. The parade will start at 11.45 at Dunstan and end in the GM parking lot. After the parade, the taste of GM will take place in the overflow lot. Um, join our cross country team at 6.30 as they run the torch from the school down to the stadium where the football team will take on Golden at 7.30. Wear your black for our blackouts. Go Rams! The homecoming dance will take place on Saturday, September 17th at 8 p.m. Come dance to our 2016 homecoming theme, 5280, a celebration of downtown Denver and street art. Tickets will be on sale both online and at the financial office during mon starting Monday, September 5th. Tickets bought this week are $5. Tickets bought homecoming week are 7 and tickets bought at the door are 10, so buy early. All right, that's going to be it for us for the special senior announcements. Back to Sam for Future Center News. Thanks, Cassandra. In Future Center and Counseling News, seniors, many college fairs are happening in September. Be sure to check with Ms. Griffin in the Future Center or on the Future Center webpage for dates, times, and information. Have you started applying to colleges? Be sure to see Ms. Griffin in the Future Center to request official transcripts to be sent Transcript request fees are $3 for official transcripts and $1 for unofficial transcripts to be paid at the time of submission to colleges. The Future Center is open daily at 9 a.m. and closes at 2.45 p.m. unless posted otherwise. <coughs> Scholarship information is also available at the Future Center. Future Center College Visits. Admission counselors from Colorado College will be in the Future Center on tomorrow at 11.45 a.m. See Ms. Griffin, sign up, and receive a pass to attend. Foothills and Green Mountain Elementary are seeking few more male and female leaders for their upcoming outdoor lab trip. See on um, September 26th through the 30th. If you are interested, please see Ms. Slaughter in the counseling office ASAP. Remember, it's a great experience, and you can earn credit for community service hours or community service hours. And here's Sydney with Sports Center. What's going on, Green Mountain? I'm Sydney, and this is Sports Center. Have school spirit? Come be a part of it as the school mascot. Trials will be during the football game on September 9th. See Ms. Coons in the athletic office for paperwork. The GM gymnastics team took first place at last night's home meet in front of second place Chatfield and third place Stanley Lake. We had top individual performances from Emily Graham, Mia Sinha, Haley Upson, Morgan Maddox, and Camille DiPola, as well as the entire team. Congratulations to the football team for their 24-14 victory over Harrison High School on Friday. Here's a look at the highlights courtesy of Huddle. Athletic captains and coaches want to be featured on SportsCenter? Send your scores and stats to Miss Ketchum the night of your game to be featured. Boys golf is at Indian Peak today at 8.30 a.m. Boys tennis plays Valor Christian at Green Mountain High School at 3.30 p.m. And JV softball plays Pomona at Green Mountain High School at 4.30 p.m. 
Tomorrow, volleyball is at Gateway High School at 4.30, 5.30, and 6.30, and boys soccer is at Elizabeth High School at 4 and 6 p.m. That's it for SportsCenter. Back to you. That's it for today, Rams. We'll see you Friday.